Pediatric hypnotherapy, helping children with learning, anxiety, and behavioral issues. Does your child suffer from anxiety issues, behavior problems, learning difficulties, or eating issues? Parenting a child in this day and age is difficult. There are so many issues that children deal with that makes parents worry and increases stress. Pediatric hypnotherapy is a solution for many families. Are you and your child struggling in any of these areas? Reducing pain, fear of pain, full medical procedures, bedwetting, thumb sucking, weight or food related issues, sibling rivalry, birth of a new sibling, Confidence and self-esteem, acting out, ADD, ADHD, dyslexia, and other learning problems, or temper tantrums and aggression, or trauma, Tourette syndrome and other motor disorders, asthma and other respiratory dysfunction, stuttering, school phobia, or transitions such as death of a pet or a loved one, moving or divorce, learning or test anxiety, sports performance, public speaking, or even shyness. Children suffer more phobias and anxiety than adults. This makes hypnosis for a child, for child anxiety, a great help in the healthy development of your child. Some children outgrow their fears and phobias and anxiety, but many retain these into adulthood. Children cannot be willed out of fear, phobia, or anxiety. If your child does not want to go to school, he or she might have a school phobia or school refusal. This is a real disorder for children and it's so painful for them. A child often has more phobias and fears than adults. They also experience these much more intensely than adults do. Children also lack the reasoning skills that adults have, so a fear has free reign in a child's imagination. Fears often come and go for no apparent reason. A traumatic incident does not have to occur for a child to suddenly be afraid of, of something. Are you looking for Child hypnosis therapy? Everything seems so large when you're a small child. The world is still very new and unexplored to a child. When adults teach children to be careful, they also teach them to fear many things. And children will also pick up fears of the mother, father, or siblings and automatically fear something they've never personally experienced. Children are prone to becoming sick easily. Illness may create a chemical change that can bring up old fears once again. And this makes life a bit more difficult for the child and the parent. Child hypnosis for eating, for ADHD, for bedwetting, potty training is all helpful. A child can experience a problem when they feel embarrassment or shame, a blend of emotions like anger, guilt, sadness, shame, and fear can create a situation that causes a problem in your child's development. Embarrassment and shame at an overreaction, perhaps, perhaps aggravated by a particular blending of emotions, can be hard to figure out. But in hypnosis, it can be done. Most children continue to have a livable response to these feelings, or it may end up impairing their progress. Just because an issue is livable doesn't mean that it's not deeply affecting your child. A low level of fear or shame can become a normal part of a child's world unless something is done to reset the child's emotional balance. The stress from childhood issues are not just mental, 
There is the release of adrenaline and other stress chemicals that increase heart rate, turn on the fight or flight system in the body. Even though a child may not physically experience something, their body may be without he or you knowing about it. In today's complex, busy world, it is not easy to find the time and the right words to help your child deal with issues that he or she may face each day. Children are part of a regular part of Susan's clientele. How hypnosis can help children. Research on hypnosis with children suggests that a child is very open to the suggestions given by the hypnotist. In fact, they are often much more hypnotizable than adults. Children live in their imaginations most of the time, which is exactly what hypnosis is. It's being in your imagination. This means children can easily benefit from hypnosis. There is significant research that suggests that even preschoolers are very suggestible. Because we know that children are highly open to suggestion, children often receive the fastest results when using hypnosis to clear an issue. And this does not leave headstrong teenagers out of the picture. Hypnosis is also very effective with adolescents, especially if they themselves want a positive outcome. Teens often deal with social anxiety, peer pressure, test anxiety, and even food-related issues and body dysmorphia. What kinds of techniques are used on children? Hypnosis occurs naturally when listening to a story for children and teens. The hypnotic metaphor is the basis of Ericksonian hypnosis. The hypnotic metaphor, guided imagery, and storytelling are all used in child hypnotherapy most effectively. The subconscious mind can often accept an idea when presented as a story that it otherwise might reject. And as we know, children learn easily from stories, and children love stories. How hypnosis can enhance your child's ability to learn. Learning is the process of gathering information effectively through the senses, storing it in the subconscious mind in such a way that it can be retrieved again. Effective learning conditioning of the mind can help the child to retrieve the stored information. Hypnosis is, a, is wonderful for setting up conditions in which the mind can retrieve accurate information. Hypnosis can help a child learn more easily and quickly while retaining information correctly. A special technique that I use allows children to be able to access that information more reliably. This helps to increase concentration and focus. It is heartbreaking to hear your child declare that they are stupid or dumb. Getting the help they need will increase their self-esteem and self-concept while reducing limiting beliefs. Some developmental skills to consider for children, celebrating individuality, and dealing with differences, interacting with others in a healthy way, overcoming reluctance, a new sense of optimism, sleeping naturally, and learning new things. Don't let a small problem become a big developmental issue for your child. 